The world loves being on the water for sports, for leisure, and for supporting the world's economy. Critical for protecting our nation's ports and for fueling our passions. Let's see how one company is meeting the demands of the boating industry. Let's go with Intrepid Power Boats on the water. This show is being brought to you by Ashland, proud manufacturer of AME Premium Resins and MaxGuard Premium Gel Coats for the world's best boat builders. Vetus Maxwell, creator of Boat Systems. Seven Marine, the most powerful outboards on the planet. Lumatech, the world's leader for innovation, quality, and value in marine LED lighting. Bennett Marine, the world leader in trim tab innovation, quality, and service. 50 years ago, Bennett Marine changed boating forever, inventing the trim tab, getting you on plane faster, improving fuel efficiency and performance, balancing loads. Today, more than 1 million systems later worldwide, boats all sizes, Bennett Innovation, durable and dependable trim tabs and hatch lifters, your only source for both hydraulic and electric systems, Bennett Trim Tabs, superior by design, legendary service, enjoy the ride. Making your dreams a reality is more than a commitment. It's a promise that Seven Marine makes to our customers. Working with you personally throughout every step of the ownership experience, design, rigging, maintaining, service, and everything that follows. Seven Marine's five-star customer service with no limitations. For our customers, whether the goal is new build or repos or our single focus is what's important to you. Expectation is met every aspect of your dream is achieved. Seven Marine, the power to move those who move the world. World. Intrepid Power Boats has been delivering on its promises of leadership and innovation in performance, comfort, and safety since launching our first boat in 1983. No two Intrepid Boats are alike. Each is ordered, built, and customized one precisely satisfied customer at a time. Then, backed by the finest owner program in the industry, when we say one of a kind, one at a time, it's more than a slogan. It's what we do. Welcome back to Intrepid Power Boats on the Water. We're back on the water with the Tampa Aquarian Dive Team as they're inspecting the archaeological site of Narcissus, a Civil War era wreck site. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful day in the Gulf. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's not the Caribbean. It's not, uh, it's not 100 feet of visibility. Uh, but the great thing about this site is that it's so dense and compact that when you get on it, you know, you can, you can see everything right there. So, you know, you're sitting here right next to a Civil War era shipwreck and there's a giant Goliath grouper on your right. There's a beautiful southern stingray underneath you and, you know, just thousands of, of, of bait fish swirling above your head. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's a really neat example of history and ecology coming together. And it's, uh, it's, it's got a great history to the wreck that ties back into Tampa Bay. Um, you know, but like Paul was saying, you know, it's a, it's an, it, it's a, it's a nursery uh, for smaller fish. And they can find refuge on the, uh, on the wreck. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's beautiful. We did, we saw several large southern stingrays. We saw a couple of goliath grouper. We found the monument. We actually put Mr. Anderson to work, had him clean it off for us so we could read it. It's a very great day. At the Florida Aquarium, we're trying to create personal experiences that connect people with wild Florida. And it's through those personal experiences that people really grow to appreciate what lives out here and why it's important to conserve it and really get outside and enjoy natural Florida. And the shipwreck program does exactly that. We started working on the wreck a number of years ago, and we had the opportunity to work with the state of Florida to dedicate this wreck site as an underwater uh, state preserve. 
and the whole purpose is to get people out and enjoying it as divers, as fishermen, and as snorkelers. And we want to take people out to this wreck and not only let them experience the history of the wreck, but show them the cool animals that live out here. Really a, incredible to think that 26 men lost their lives on this wreck in 15 feet of water. Just some basic life-saving equipment would have probably saved most of them. Uh, it was really uh, touching to see the uh, memorial as well. And uh, that uh, we have wrecks like that around the world from the United States Navy where men have given their lives. It's, uh, I'm glad to see that there's a memorial down there and then it's going to be marked off as a archaeological and preserved site so that people will not take it. There was a lot of uh, lumber I wasn't expecting to see. Looks like that it's been recently uncovered in really good shape uh, and uh, the boiler was impressive because you could still see the uh, huge single piston engine and uh, you could see the uh, uh, the uh, piston wear the sleeve that it would go up and down and drive the drive shaft. I really appreciate you all taking me on this dive. Intrepid's innovation was on display again with the Blue Gas Marine Boat, which accompanied the dive today in the waters of Tampa Bay. This boat has been retrofitted as a natural gas hybrid for a cleaner alternative fuel. Just another example of Intrepid's uh, ingenuity and uh, being at the uh, forefront of uh, the marine industry with their technology, uh, willing to think outside the box. They had a partner come to them that wanted to uh, demonstrate the, the capability of a dual fuel uh, boat, a CNG and gas. Uh, I'm very impressed with it. We ourselves are looking to convert all of our vehicles, some of our uh, cargo handling equipment to be able to be uh, uh, multi-fueled uh, where we can get some efficiencies, not only from uh, our carbon footprint, but uh, cost standpoint. So I'm very uh, excited to know about this uh, boat that Intrepid has built, and uh, I'm gonna run it after we're off this boat. After today's dive, Mr. Anderson got an opportunity to try out this alternative clean burning fuel firsthand. Making your dreams a reality is more than a commitment. It's a promise that Seven Marine makes to our customers. Working with you personally throughout every step of the ownership experience, design, rigging, maintaining, service, and everything that follows. Seven Marine's five-star customer service with no limitations. For our customers, whether the goal is new build or repos or our single focus is what's important to you. Expectation is met every aspect of your dream is achieved. Seven Marine, the power to move those who move the world. Intrepid Power Boats has been delivering on its promises of leadership and innovation in performance, comfort, and safety since launching our first boat in 1983. No two Intrepid Boats are alike. Each is ordered, built, and customized one precisely satisfied customer at a time. Then, backed by the finest owner program in the industry, when we say one of a kind, one at a time, it's more than a slogan. It's what we do. 50 years ago, Ben and Marie changed boating forever. Inventing the trim tab. Getting you on plane faster. Improving fuel efficiency and performance. Balancing loads. Today, more than 1 million systems later worldwide. Boats all sizes. Bennett Innovation. Durable and dependable trim tabs and hatch lifters. Your only source for both hydraulic and electric systems. Bennett Trim Tabs. Superior by design. Legendary service. Enjoy the ride. Welcome back to Intrepid Power Boats on the Water. The progression is an experimentation, a collaboration, and an innovation platform. The major objective for this project was to push system integration to a whole new level. 
spearheaded by Lumitech, with cooperation from several industry partners, including Intrepid Power Boats. The progression was built around the Intrepid 375 Center Council. Well, we rolled out at the Miami Boat Show, we rolled out our project boat called Progression. Progression was a technology platform. It was an opportunity for our engineers and Intrepid's engineers and the engineers of a lot of our respective um, suppliers to come together and to experiment with new things, to try new techniques, to evaluate ideas and put them in front of the general public and see what people thought. And I think it was a resounding success. You know, what we heard in the Intrepid booth was their customers coming on and saying, hey, we really like that. In some instances, they said, well, that's not, maybe not for me, it's not as important for me. But all of that information is invaluable. It's invaluable for us, again, the partners to Intrepid. And I'd, I'd like to think that it's really useful for Intrepid as well to get that, that feedback and, uh, and to see how customers respond to these new innovations and new technologies. Lumitech is a company that um, can build custom. The way that we build custom boats, they can build custom, whether it's lighting or, or electrical systems. They have that same ability that we do. So when somebody presents that to us, uh, of course, we look at that as, as, as an opportunity to innovate as well. And, and we are demanding, you know, and uh, we know what we want as well because of the relationship directly with our customers and that demand we're able to then relay that to a company like Lumitech and say, you know, we want, whether we want it to be a light that does a certain thing or is it certain brightness or it pulls, draws a certain amount of amperage um, or it, it does, it changes colors or you have to be able to run the system off an iPad or you name it. And uh, the Lumitech company and their engineering staff, you know, run by John, uh, are, are able to meet those demands no matter how, uh, how crazy we may be about it. This state-of-the-art boat is the first ever to showcase Lumitech's experimental powerline instruction technology, which allows users to address and control individual lights on the same circuit with no additional control wires. The onboard lighting is seamlessly integrated into a digital control and monitoring network. It's, it's an all-digital switching system. Um, you know, we worked with BEP and um, with John, uh, so basically instead of having a toggle switch that turns something on and off, it's actually an electronic trigger that's done by a flat screen. Um, it's not anything new, to say the least, for like cars. I mean, a lot of cars have those features now. But to have that in a marine environment and to have it survive is a totally different story. And uh, I think, you know, with John and, and BEP, they really have a, a, a really robust system. And then I think Garmin stepped in on that same, uh, on that same project and, and really just made it a total um, interactive package. Uh, it's the future, you know, and I wouldn't doubt and, you know, it's something that, you know, we always look at and probably in a year, maybe, We'll start looking at, you know, developing that into production. You just have to be, you have to be really careful about when you do something in the marine industry that's that advanced. Um, you have boats like our customers that are all over the world. So you really have to be careful on how you can take care of those boats. And when you have something that advanced in there, and it's in South America, and there's you know, a guy down there with, with a meter trying to figure something like that out, that's a problem. You know, so you wanna to try to avoid having to fly technicians all over the world to try and solve those. So we're very, very careful and cautious on how fast we allow some of that technology to come in. Um, you know, just because we want everything to be as reliable as, as possible. All the technology on display in the progression will be extensively tested under extreme conditions before Lumitech will ever release these products to the consumer. You know, after having the boat in his hands for a year, he's going to know the solidity of everything in it. You know, what's, what's holding up, what would he do different. Um, so 
you know, in essence, it was still a prototype. Um, but I think it's it's going to be a benchmark for for future designs of of you know electrical systems in in boats. When you start to talk about the different types of boat users, I think that's when our world gets really exciting, and that's where we've seen I think in the last few years. Um, just an explosion in the emphasis on lighting. I think all different types of boat users are, are seeing lighting as a way to enhance their user experience. You know, for fishermen, it's obviously the underwater lights on the back of the boat is a big one, you know, bringing in the bait fish or bringing in predators um, and, and adding that element to an evening of fishing. Um, if it's someone who's just pleasure cruising, cruising um, it, maybe they're enjoying cocktails on the boat, but the, the, the technology in our products allow them to set a mood. Is it a subtle, relaxed mood? Is it more of a party atmosphere? The lighting becomes such a big part of that. Um, for some of the interior spaces, you know, we've really developed a line of lights that have architectural level um, light output in terms of the color rendering index, in terms of the the color temperature in terms of the consistency from light to light. And what that means then is that people who are enjoying the inside of their intrepid boats, they are getting a very, very pleasurable experience. The fabrics, the fabrics look richer, the wood grains look more natural. Um, moving on back to the exterior of the boat, when you talk about people who are doing diving even, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of Intrepid's users now are putting uh, lights on the underside of the non-running surfaces of the hull to illuminate downward, to really light up reefs. I've talked to a lot of people who are out night snorkeling with downward facing lights and there's a whole nother dimension that that brings to the scuba diving and the snorkeling experience. So really, wide array of users for the Intrepid boats and for every one of those users, there's different aspects of the use experience that can be enhanced through the lighting. The progression is a look at the future of boating. Technology on display. Welcome back to Intrepid Power Boats on the Water. Lumatech is an engineering and designing firm solely focused on the development and manufacturing of high quality extreme environment LED lighting. Located in Delray Beach, Florida, this state-of-the-art development and manufacturing plan has spared no expense in the equipment needed to test and evaluate their products for use under extreme conditions. I remember when he very first came to me with some lights and I was automatically drawn to, to his product and him. Um, his, I could see how intense he was and, and how detailed he was. And, you know, and he had a lot of pride, and you know, we've used his product ever since. It, he, he powers all of our lights up on all of our boats since the day he walked in that door. Their technology, their testing, they're, they're very, John's team is very endurance oriented. You know, they want to be the best. Um, you know, they, they, before they release something, I remember him coming to me several times with, I gotta show you this new light, you know, this, this or that. You know, and I go, wow, that's really, when can I get some? Not yet. We're not done, we're not done testing. You know, he won't release it until it's ready. You know, the lights that we get from Lumitech are, are the best, by far the best. They're the best in the business, and they're the most reliable. And even when we've had little tiny minor glitches come up, they were on it. They were on it instantly, and there was a cure instantly. Their LED fixtures are designed with an in-depth understanding of each light's application and use environment. The highly skilled team of engineers is made up of boaters, fishermen, sailors, divers, and skiers who own and operate boats. So they understand the importance of performance, high quality, ease of installation, and ease of use. 
Lumatex engineers use the latest equipment and leading edge innovation to ensure their products deliver unsurpassed performance. You know, customization has never been a, a, a big challenge for us. Our company is uniquely designed to really accommodate changes in customer demand and, and accommodate small one-off requests. You know, if we get a request, the customer wants a certain light pattern or a certain, a certain color output, um, a certain finish or a certain dimension, oftentimes we can do that because we do have a very nimble manufacturing um, capability. Um, we can leverage existing technologies and take a, a, a known and a fully qualified component and refine it slightly through firmware or through our on-site our on uh, prototyping lab and deliver to Intrepid um, something that really meets the specific needs of a customer. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, you know, um, a lot of people look at our client roster and they'll look at customers like Intrepid and they'll say, boy, you have a, a really demanding customer base. And, and the fact of the matter is, is that it's not that they're demanding, it's that they have very high standards. They have high standards for themselves and high expectations for their suppliers. Um, they deliver a top quality boat to a discerning customer. And Intrepid's expectation is that all of the components they put on that boat are equally well thought out, equally well engineered, equally as invaluable to the overall user experience as their complete packages. And that's kind of what makes the relationship with Intrepid um, an interesting one, an exciting one, and a fulfilling one to our team over here. Next week on Intrepid Power Boats on the Water, we'll be joining Lumatech founder and president John Kiawa. John and his family board the progression for a night of quality time and family fun. What was nice about doing the Lumatech with, boat with John is, is not only was it a, a boat that he was able to show his technology on, it's a boat that he's going to use. It's a boat that he does use. That you know he takes his family out. He, He's with his wife and his kids and they go fishing and they go paddle boarding off of it. They, they enjoy the boat. So it wasn't just a platform for innovation. It wasn't just for a boat show. It was for, you know, John and his family to enjoy as well. And the fact that he wanted to do that project with us was a great honor. Yeah, it's a, just a great time, you know. I mean, this is, what, this is what it's all about, right? I mean, this is why we work hard and this is why we, um, you know, we, we save our pennies and, and we, we strive to put ourselves in a position to enjoy stuff like this. It's the precious moments with the family. So we picked up a couple of grunts here in the inlet, um, but the kids have a memory and these are things that pull the kids away from the iPads and the eye touches. And these are the things that really, in my opinion, are the foundation for a solid family life and solid memories together. So just invaluable and a great evening, great afternoon on the water. This show has been brought to you by Ashland, proud manufacturer of AME Premium Resins and MaxGuard Premium Gel Coats for the world's best boat builders. Vetus Maxwell, creator of boat systems. Seven Marine, the most powerful outboards on the planet. Lumatech, the world's leader for innovation, quality, and value in marine LED lighting. Bennett Marine, the world leader in trim tab innovation, quality, and service. Intrepid Power Boats, one of a kind, one at a time.